example. I'm not really crazy. Um, let's just take a look here through this. That was 30, 40,000 events that just happened just in that little time. Um, got Explorer, EXE going nuts, looking at policies. Um, they attack me from every angle. I mean, it, I, I can't make this up. Um, I've tried restoring. I've tried formatting. I think they're in the BIOS. I think they're all over. Um, this, of course, looks like... Um, you know, that's gone. Um, McAfee antivirus is also installed, and it doesn't matter. It seems fine. So, you know, um, run scans with that. It doesn't see it. Run scans with the other things. But look, what else would cause this? Check this out. I'm going to do a net stat. And as you can see, we'll let that run for a minute. I'm going to bring up another command line. Um, they have full control of my computer. Uh, they are either in my user, they've created different things, they're different folders. Um, oh, real-time scanning. This keeps getting turned off. Uh, that's a consistent thing. Um, now they're only protecting me from one app. This changes, now it's 196. Um, sometimes I'll go in and change my firewall. Let's see how that's looking. Um, it is on. Uh, traffic control. i got to keep changing it to stealth, um, just because I want to be warned. Um, and then, of course, I want to go down here to intrusion detection, make sure that that's on. They turn that off on me. Um, I don't get it. I don't understand, number one, what they want with me, and number two, what's going on here. Um, these two IPs are consistent. Um, they now are established. Um, if I go in here, I'm going to go to the original Sys internal. Now, as you can see here, they've taken Portmon out. Uh, they've taken the rootkit detector out. Uh, that is also gone. Oh, no, I take that back. There's Portmon right there. So let's, let's take a look at that. The rootkit detector is always taken out. I don't know why they do that. I don't know what it actually does to them, because it doesn't seem to run right um, in this version of Windows 10. Oh, see, Portmon, Error 2, and I'll get Error 2 on m many other things. Now, the Sysmon is running right now. Um, I'll let it run a little bit longer while they're doing this. Uh, but I can't run Portmon. I've got to go, and i got to download it. So I'm going to go here, and let's say I try to run different things that I know are a problem. Let's go to Oprah. Check this out. If I go to Oprah.com... And I'm doing this through my phone. I know it's not really the best quality. It's a crappy phone. It's the fourth phone I bought. It also gets into the Android operating system. Not even sure if I upload this. Look at this. And hope for software as no. And then when you bring that up, it just says as no. I, I don't know if someone else could check that certificate's right. I do believe that they're getting into this somehow. If I go and download it, um, it does take a while to initiate the download. It's as if they're sending it to me. If I want to go to run it, I'll click run. It'll say running security scan. It sits there for a while. Um, also, my other machine is a Dell. If I go to Dell real quick, um, and this is another thing I've noticed that I know there's somebody there. Dell. Uh, I'm going to Dell.com. When I go in here, I could try to go to Simple Support. Um, the other machine, and by the way, every machine on this network is screwed up. I take it outside the network, it's the same thing. It doesn't matter where I go. They've got different ways in. But the other one's an Alienware. Um, mm, sorry, a little sluggish on this computer. Alienware. Um, 17R3. Mm, sorry, I think it's a 17R4. Uh, it doesn't really matter. So I go in here. Anything from Dell, this is what happens. It's like they control it. Let's see if it does it this one. Okay, right, drivers and downloads. Um, and by the way, Dell tells me, go get an antivirus. I pay 600 and something dollars for their um, advanced support uh, for nothing. Um, that's a whole other situation. I can't believe they said, oh, yeah, go get yourself an antivirus. We did have antiviruses running throughout all this. It takes the antiviruses over. Um, I know that sounds crazy, um, but it's nuts. But here we go. So anyway, I go in here. I want to save this, so I save it. Running a security can. It, everything seems fine. Let's go into McAfee. Let's see how it says. Okay, we'll go in here. I'm going to the folder. Uh, this PC. I'm going to downloads. Take a look at what it does to this this file. Now you saw I didn't change it. All right. Looks good, right? Let's do a scan. All right. McAfee says it's okay. Mm. 
Now, Oprah finally just came up. I'm not even going to run it because I know it's infected. I'll show you some things when I run port scan. It won't let me do that. Um, the net stat went off the screen, so I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to do net stat. Um, net, scat, net stat was what brought me to wonder when my son took came to me and told me his computer wasn't running right. Um, he said, hey, Dad, my computer's chugging along. The first time, I just said, hey, just do a restore. You'll be fine. Here's all the things listening. Um, I forget the command off the top of my head. I think it's net stat B. B. Which shows me the individual programs that are listening on what port. Um, yeah, okay. So these, as you see, that search UI, uh, .exe is running. The launch um, has established. These are connections that are going on. Um, I should have it not resolve the... Here, I'm going to have it not resolve. I can get control C here. But yeah, some of the stuff just doesn't make sense. There's a lot of weird stuff going on. It is infected Internet Explorer. If I try to uh, load Chrome, it's the same kind of thing. Intel drivers, you name it. But anyway, the reason I'm showing you the Dell stuff is really quickly this. If I go into the DLL, look what happens when I mouse over it. Uh, if I can. This computer's really slow. I'm going to have to show you on my other one. I'm showing you this because I have an opportunity to do it without being on the same machine. Like I said, they've infected everything. Do you see what it says on the file description there? Do you see what the file description says? Yeah, it does. It really truly says an FU Dell application. And you know what's funny is that I've brought it to Dell's attention and they could care less. You know what they say? Go get yourself an antivirus. Do not buy their extended support. It is just not worth it. Honestly, if I could build my own laptop, I would. I just need a laptop to be... You know external but anyway these are some of the things going on um the other thing i've noticed is that on this machine um it's not as bad but on the other machine it's pretty bad um where if you go into the windows folder um in the windows system folder um also by the way there's this thing called panther it looks to be like a dell automated thing dell doesn't seem to know anything about it but they can't give me any guidance it's one of the reasons that i called them to try to find out what's going on is this a part of it this seems to install every time i install it now this is not a dell this is an hp but again, this one was infected because of the other computer. By the way, this is infected just by connecting it to the network. I did nothing. Um, this thing literally must be jumping machine to machine. It jumps via Bluetooth. It jumps via air gap. Uh, I could show you the extended like logs and stuff that I see. Um, but same thing. Hey, let's take a look in the event logs real quick. Anyway, anybody who's watching this, if you have any ideas um, <laughs> on what I could possibly do here to um, eliminate some of these issues that's going on here, I would really appreciate it. Um, I'm running out of ideas. I'm going nuts. Um, unfortunately, uh, I don't have access to the, the router here. I really wish I would. Um, unfortunately, the person who owns it just won't let me touch it, which is retarded. Um, <laughs> I don't even want to go there. But anyway, so we go to the event viewer. Come on. This machine is really slow. You'll enjoy the Alienware ones a lot better. I want to have to document all this because, uh, you know, people think I'm crazy when I tell them what's been going on. But I've been dealing with this for almost a month now. And it's out of hand. So I'm going into the Windows logs. I'm going to the application. You're going to see a lot of things are full. I have not set anything. Um, this is a Windows Home edition. So they're kind of limited on some of the things that you can do the other thing is it extends itself or spreads itself also the task scheduler if i go into the task scheduler there are tasks in there i cannot delete them it kills itself um this thing has propagated itself all over the place and people say just format well i have formatted i've restored it from um rescue cds uh i've made the the jump drive i've done pretty much everything you could to you know do a restore and it uh it comes back but so anybody uh, again who has any ideas here i'd really appreciate it as you see these are the things that happen i don't know if they are doing this right now again sometimes there's people there sometimes it's just ai uh if i install linux on it's the same thing uh activation can't continue we're sorry about having trouble activating my cafe products yeah you have having trouble with all my cafe products because it doesn't function properly you know um if it's not one thing it's another um nothing is consistent it doesn't happen the same way all the time I don't know how to explain it to anybody. Um, I'm now currently using the trial because I'm tired of registering myself. Uh, these people are watching everything that I do. Um, and right now, I'm probably going to have to kill this because it's just, it's locked up. Um, I could show you some interesting stuff. Um, let's see what this does when I... I'll pause that again. Uh, it's still running. Anyway, it looks like this loaded. So let's take a look and see what's going on. Security Center. Uh, firewall products from Data Store. Um, we've got uh, some interesting stuff there. I'll, I'll let you guys take a look through these logs. I mean, as you can see, 
nothing is right. You know, um, full buckets. Uh, we've got Microsoft Edge is crashing. Um, you, you name it, man, it's going on with this machine. And fresh install, uh, nothing really different. Search index there is going. Um, uh, let's see. Let's go into security because you always have some fun stuff there. You'll see like propagation and user account. Credentials were read. Uh, an account was successfully logged in. Uh, let's see. Oh, look at that. The laptop itself. Uh, let's move this up so you can see more of this stuff. So anyway, I'm going to post this and uh, I'll have more to come in the next day or so as I go through it. Um, any help you guys could offer me, I'd really appreciate it. Thanks.